Now, we are looking at alternate implementations, alternate interfaces. Uh, here's an interface on a mobile phone. Um, here's an interface on a physically embodied item. Um, it's a movable head. It's stolen from a kid's toy. Um, this one just shows you that there's activity going on in the house. Um, and uh, here's a version that shows you that there's speech going on in the house because the guy's talking. Now, <coughs> this is actually part of a whole theme of what we're doing in that we have a number of agents or pieces of software that are managing our communication. Okay, this is all going out there in a network. Networks of sensors, networks of instrumented borgs. This is all going on in cyberspace. But we live in physical space. We live in the real world. So it's important to us that these agents of ours have some manifestation in the real world so that they can perform in a socially appropriate manner. Okay, so I can see that Stefan's agent there is getting excited. It's trying to tell him that he has a phone call. If he doesn't respond, it's going to start making some noises. Ahoy. Why? <laughs> Make him walk that plank. So it sounds like some poor uh, undergrad didn't do a very good job last night. Uh, now, not everybody wants to dress up for Halloween like that. We're also working on instrumenting uh, the business executive attire models, uh, much smaller agents. And in fact, um, maybe the agent actually becomes the phone and you, actually, and you talk like this. Such things, don't laugh, they're really popular in Japan. Happy Halloween. <laughs> That's great.